What the fuck is up, guys? It's the BYT here, back with another video. This is going to be my Royal Rumble 2016 predictions. First pay-per-view of 2016. Let's get started here. Let's predict this. As we all know, WWE shows are very predictable nowadays. Go back, watch my prediction videos. I basically predict every match right. <laughs> so, I mean... The hell? It says in the caption, it says in the story they have, it says who could return in the Rumble match? Then it has Goldberg eliminating somebody. So Goldberg's gonna return, yeah. Um, we got the matches here. Let's get started. A lot of pointless jobber matches with no story. Um, so we're going to start with this, the kickoff match. This is a Fatal War 4-Way Tag Team match. Whoever wins this match, um, they're going to be in the Rumble. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just a bunch of jobbers. We got the Dudleys, we got the Ascension, we got Mark Henry and Swagger, and we got Darren Young and Damian Sando. Um, I don't understand what the point of that match is. Uh, nobody cares about any of those guys. Nobody really cares about the Dudleys anymore. Um, he kind of ruined them already. It's like, t in today's WWE, you could ruin a star that was great in the Attitude Era in months. But in the Attitude Era, you continually made them great for years. Just, uh, that's just a little thing there. It's so cheap. Alright, so. Mark Henry's already been advertised for the Royal Rumble. So I'm just gonna go with that team. Because <laughs> Mark Henry's already been advertised for the Royal Rumble. Are, are you kidding me? The, he's been already advertised for the Royal Rumble. Why, why was he in this match? Are you fucking kidding me, WWE? This is this is, this is laughable. This is laughable. This reminds me of like when you're in a junior high and somebody has a project, uh, um, a slideshow, and they just fuck off the in the middle. That's what it reminds me of. All right, yeah. the presentation is fucking awful. It just slapped together. No, like nobody cares. It's just either that or the Dudleys will win, but I'm going to go with Mark Henry and Swagger. The New Day versus the Usos in a tag team championship match. I'm going to go with the New Day. There is no reason to have the Usos win this match. Nobody likes them. They never get a reaction. The New Day get a reaction. Please just keep the belts on them. They're one of your only positive things you have on this show. Please. I find it funny, you've had the titles on and off them for a year, basically, just because you don't have no tag teams. Fucking build up some tag teams already. Um, Charlotte and Becky Lynch for the Divas title. We have a picture of Ric Flair from, like, 03 on this, on this, like, on the picture of the match. Great, uh, yeah, that's very, uh, that's very good, very good there. Um, Charlotte, Becky Lynch. I'm gonna go with Charlotte. Um... Kalisto and Alberto Del Rio. Really? Really? These guys have already had two matches together. No, three matches. Including the tag match on Raw that was boring and awful. So, I mean, you're going to have them on the show. They have no story. They just fought, fought each other twice in singles matches. And that's a pay-per-view match. Why? Why is that a pay-per-view match? So, if Kalisto wins the belt, is he just going to face Alberto Del Rio again? And then Alberto Del Rio wins the back. We're just gonna, it's just, like, is this just going to be a cycle? I mean, obviously Alberto Del Rio is winning. Um, Kevin Owens and Dean Ambrose in a last man standing match, not even for the IC title, which I mentioned is stupid if they weren't going to include the IC title. Way to build up pers- Why? What is the fucking point of that? What is the point of that? 
Um, I'm going to go with Kevin Owens just because for the fact they made it so – I just figured it out. They just made it so obvious that Dean Amber was going to win because they don't put the belt on the line. They don't want Owens to win the belt, so Kevin Owens is going to win. And if Dean Ambrose fucking wins, that would be so fucking stupid. And they're probably going to continue the rivalry. Um, 30 man superstar. 30 superstar Royal Rumble match with Roman Reigns on the cover. He's like. Um. Um, who should, well, I mean, just, I would love Kurt Angle to come back and just destroy all these jobbers and win the Royal Rumble, but obviously he's not coming back. So, when you look at this Rumble, there's three main guys, and I can't believe people are actually putting Bray Wyatt, like he's actually gonna, he's one of those three guys. It's Triple H, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns. None of these other jobbers, Dean Ambrose isn't winning, Bray Wyatt isn't winning, Dolph Ziggler isn't winning, Tyler Breeze isn't winning, Neville isn't winning. It comes down to Roman Reigns, Triple H, and Brock Lesnar. Now this is a very, between these three guys, it's very hard to see. I'm going to eliminate Roman Reigns because that'd be just fucking ridiculous if he won. It's, it's ultimate Super Cena times 10 if he wins the Royal Rumble. Um, especially with all those people gunning for him. With Austin, it was different. Don't give me that bullshit. Oh, Stone Cold, he lasted all the way to the end and almost won. It wasn't for interference, he was going to lose. Yeah, but he was basically out for half, three quarters of the fucking match because he got taken out by these guys. Um, taken out by the corporation in the women's bathroom. Um, in 99, which is pretty weird. They're saying Roman Reigns has no chance in hell to win the Royal Rumble. That was a tagline of the 99 Royal Rumble 17 years ago. And January 24th was actually the the day of Royal Rumble 1999, which is the date of this Royal Rumble. So, I mean, that's kind of weird. But, um, so it's down to Brock Lesnar and Triple H. Brock Lesnar and Triple H. Now, see, this is a... Because we don't know if Triple H is going to be in the Royal Rumble. And... It's just a shame they have to stoop to this level just because they haven't created new stars. They gotta have these... They gotta have old stars win the Royal Rumble every time. Nowadays. I mean, back then, at least in, like, the early... In like 2010, I mean 2011, you had Alberto Del Rio, you had Sheamus the next year. At least, I mean, you had some guys you were kind of established to be stars for generation to come. But I wanted to pick those guys, but that's for damn sure. But WWE nowadays, it's just no stars at all. None. They created no stars you can take seriously. Bray Wyatt, fuck no. Dean Ambrose, no. Kevin Owens, no. He's lost to Kevin Owens lost to Neville in four seconds, by the way. Could you take this guy seriously? Would Stone Cold Steve Austin lose to a jobber like Essa Rios, Essa, whatever the fuck his name is, in four seconds? No. It tells you they're not taking him seriously. He's never going to be a main eventer. Get the fuck out of here. He is never winning the title. And if you actually think he's going to win the title... You don't understand what wrestling is, and I think you should stop watching. He's, there is no way he's going to win the title in his WWE career. No way. Bar no, no way. Um, um, I'm going to go with... Uh, I, would, I wouldn't mind to see Triple H and Brock Lesnar in the main event. We got that. And that was kind of a, one of my dream matches, and it wasn't that good. We already saw that. We know they're going to include Roman Reigns in this main event, let's be serious. They've already teased Brock Lesnar and the Wyatts. So I guess, I'm guessing it's Triple H versus Roman Reigns for the main event of WrestleMania. So I'm going to go with Triple H to win this Royal Rumble. Um, yeah. <sighs> I mean, it's so obvious, the, the, the attack at TLC, 
I can't believe I actually thought that on the attack at TLC. Triple H is gone. He's gonna. Ret he's been off TV. He's going to return. It's just a perfect wrestling type of storyline. At least they have a storyline going into the main event. And I. And let's be honest. That main event would be a lot better than Bray Wyatt versus Brock Lesnar for the title or any of those indie guys. Honestly, I'm not trying to be the smart busters. But let's face it, none of these guys that you claim are great have been built up properly and they have no character. They're boring guys that just come out and put on wrestling matches that the fans don't care about because they don't give, they don't give two shits because there's never a reaction. Because wrestling has been built on characters like Stone Cold, like The Rock, like Hulk Hogan, like Bret Hart, like Shawn Michaels, like Triple H, like Batista characters, badasses, Goldberg, you know, Brock Lesnar, Kurt Angle, you know, not these not these guys like Rat Macho Man, not not guys like Neville. Are you kidding me? If that's what wrestling has to offer in the next ten years, I don't know if I'm gonna keep watching for that long. But ladies and gentlemen, obviously Triple H is going to win the Rumble. There's no disputing that. See you guys later. Believe that. See you guys later. Peace out.